All right, hey there, back again, guys. I just wanted to do a quick little video here talking about an actual Christmas gift that I got for my son. This is a mini laptop. Uh, we got it off eBay. It was one of those EPC smart books. Um, it was around 80 bucks, and it's obviously from China. It um, We got it for Christmas. We had a lot of issues with it ever since, but um, mainly just uh, the operating system resetting itself all the time. Um, it's constantly searching for OS. It, it would it would just blank out. It would be unusable. We'd have to reload the operating system. Done it about five or six times. And then finally, I started doing a little bit of research online, and I found other operating systems that actually run on it. And I'd like to kind of share with you one that I found very, very, very useful um, that we went ahead and put on here, um, which was the Android, just like the cell phone, the Droid, the Android cell phone. Basically, somebody ripped the operating system and put it into net mini book form. So we went ahead and I'll show you the website. You go to http colon forward slash forward slash tails 92 dot com forward slash files forward slash easy pc. Go to that site, download the android dash arm um, zip rareware or I'm sorry um, winrar file un unzip it and just put it on the um, uh, root, the root of a SD card, slap it in the side here, put it in the SD card slot, and you turn it on, and boom, it just loads the operating system automatically. Um, you go through some questions, um, you know, you personalize it or whatever, um, setting up however you want it to. So I just want to kind of show you the finished product here. Um, got it all installed, and I'll show it off here. It's an Android, just like a cell phone, just not quite as cool, but it's pretty neat. It's a good operating system that I think runs on this EPC um, little mini laptop very, very well. And I bought it for an 11-year-old boy who really just wants to surf the web, watch some YouTube videos, um, play some games, um, play on Facebook and stuff like that. And for that, I, I think that this is the perfect operating system. It's, it's ran off of the actual... Um, cell phone application. Uh, where's my mouse? There it is. Just making sure the mouse actually works. Sometimes, sometimes we've had it happen where you boot it up and there's no mouse key cursor. So, and this operating system is ran on a touch screen, so it, it, it assumes that you're using some kind of touch screen. Um, but you don't have a touch screen on this laptop, so you just use the mouse pad. And I already put. See, I put Skype on here, and then I put Mebo on it. Those I just installed by browsing to the websites and just downloading them. And I also gave him a game, Defend Home. Let's see now. Just like the cell phone application operating system, you click over here, and it brings up the menu. And you have a couple of, like, there's something up here in Chinese or Japanese. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, but, um... There's eggs, light, and you have email, um, peacock photo, peacock video, I'm assuming those are just your generic photo and video um, applications. You got music on here, uh, there's themes, Skype, oh, let's see here, and a contacts. It's, it's kind of set up just like a phone is, but there's a browser. So I'll go ahead and click on the browser, and that will bring up, it usually goes to the home page, which is Google. Yeah, it's kind of shocking how fast this actually runs. It's, it's, it's pretty quick. I mean, it's not as fast as like a, a high-end laptop by any means, but for the money, it's pretty darn quick. So let's see here. Let's browse. Um, let's go to PCN. Let's go ahead and try to click on PC Engine FX. See it brings up the site. Oh, look at that. There's NEC's website. It's going to want me to click some kind of... It's one thing I haven't been able to download is any Flash players or anything on here yet, so... Um, it doesn't quite work correctly, so... But 
but if you want to browse, you can see PC Engine FX works pretty well. Um, so, um, so browsing is pretty cool. It works fairly well, um, just like a cell phone would be or whatever. Actually, you click on the little home icon up here. It is it is a little bit to get used to on all the new um, button clicks and whatnot. Anyway, let's try a game here. As far as the rest of the game, I'm not really sure what to do. I mean, it looks like a traditional strategy war game. You just move around with it. Click on a guy up there. And you move around. And these are my guys. There we go. You just move them with the D-pad. Or the arrows. Slowly but surely. I'm not really sure how these are attacked. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. And it's just like a touch Congratulations, squad member. You've defeated the bad guys. so far. So, oh, I can turn the music volume down, that'll help. Oh, Austin awesome. was talking about that, it's too loud, there we go, go ahead and save. Anyway, um, so, this is the laptop, some applications on it, some games, um, I think the Android soft operating system itself is totally worth it, it's very fun. Um, if you've got some money to spend, and I know that now on eBay they've actually been increasing the price on these because they found that they could put the an Android software on here. So if you can find the this computer with the old Windows CE, first things first, I would definitely get Windows CE off of it because it is a piece of crap. And uh, try to find this Android and just follow the link that I'll have in the video or the link that you saw in the video and take a look at Android because it's actually pretty cool. Anyway, until next time, take it easy, guys.